Hello at Games Legends Pinball viewers. I should have made this video a long time ago, but I didn't. Uh, I took this countercade, Miss Pac-Man. You want to get a Miss Pac-Man or a Pac-Man or something like that. Even the stand-up uh, arcade one-ups. And I turned it into a all-in-one, 30-in-1 arcade machine. It was I seen a couple mods done on YouTube and stuff, but it just looked really sloppy. And I decided to try to take a gander at it myself using the uh, JAMA cable system. As you can see, a lot of wires. A lot of wires. It's very tight in there. And you can see the JAMA cable in there. JAMA cable, a lot of wires though. And I don't read I don't read Japanese or Chinese or whatever. But I found an American thing. I had to trim all that cable down shorter. There's a lot of wires. And I can't believe I fit it all in this machine. But that's that part. Put that back in there. So I can show you gameplay. It fits in there nice and neat. I had to make a few modifications to the speaker area. See right there I had to cut it out a little bit. To fit these uh, buttons in here. I use the same buttons though. I didn't modify the buttons. Got lucky with that. And there's the display. Sorry about that video. Darkness. We got Donkey Kong Jr. on here. There's all kinds of games on here. you want to do it to a Miss Pac-Man or Pac-Man or a Galaga machine here's the inside okay the right here I added a computer plug style plug because I had to wire up a power strip there's a mini power strip in there because you have to get a new video card with its HDMI capable but you got to match the number the serial number on the back of your monitor I mean, I just kind of stuffed it all in here. Here's the control box or power box for the JAMA cable system. And there's the 30-in-1 card. Which you need a Vega splitter, Vega to HDMI splitter on there. Uh, this is my coin button and my system button. And you see how I wired the, uh, the uh, switch. But there's the 30-in-1. It's just sitting in there. Not nothing pretty. Tried to I mounted. The, I did mount the uh, power supply though. Look how big that power supply. <laughs> and right behind there's the video card. You can buy a video card for these things, these machines. And it converts the screen into like an HDMI, almost like your Vibs board. And there's directions on how to hook it up. And it takes three cords. One for the one for the power box. Then you got a, a, a micro cord, just like a phone charger cord that plugs into the power strip. <clears throat> See? That's how I did it, man. It, it was really tight. But it would look, it would be really cool to put one in the arcade one up. Uh, arcade one up. The bigger machine, so you got a system button and my man button. See what you do is you just add coins to it, and that's how you if you want to change the system, you know, the power, how many lives, and all that stuff. I put it in the back because I didn't want to put it in the front. See now you got it working. I thought about putting some lighted buttons in there. You can pick whatever game you want. I got Galaga, Frogger. I'm gonna show you Frogger. Yeah. Playing with one hand. Very good video quality on, on this machine.
The only thing is you gotta finish out the game. Yeah, you can see I play with the games how many lives I got in there. I'm gonna finish out the game. I think you can go back. I just I got it. See, but then you can go to the next game. You can play some. See, the reason I say to get a arcade game like Miss Pac-Man and stuff, if you get like something like Ninja Turtles or something like that, you can't play the classics. And you can't play the game that you actually bought. So you can play Miss Pac-Man. There's Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, I, I actually changed the. Uh, dots to hearts that's in the system thing added some lives very clean I used the old joystick they give me a bunch of buttons and stuff with that cable kit but I like the joystick on this at games or right, I'm sorry I like the uh, controller on the uh, arcade one up game. But this is an arcade one-up, Conrocade, Pac-Man. Got a 30-in-1 card in here, JAMA system. Uh, I built one before. I built one for somebody, and I put the Raspberry Pi in there. So you got 300 games. But it was a little bit different. Hooking to get a little bit different. I'm sorry. I had to learn that one. But that's Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man on there, the actual Miss Pac-Man. This is the reason I, one of the reasons I did this is the fact that it had one of my favorite games of all time, Donkey Kong. Love Donkey Kong. The only thing with the video card also is the volume controls. It doesn't work. So you have to set it with the system. How, how high you want the volume to be. But it's no big deal. You turn off the power and when you hold the system button on and turn on the power you can go in there and make all your changes to all the games. But that's it in a nutshell. Miss Pac-Man. Let me show you this inside here again. You just stuck everything in there. The JAMA cable system, see how it all the all wires. Got it as clean as I can. You got HDMI and your power on the video screen. Then you got to provide power for your card. You provide power for your board, which I've wired it into a small USB or a uh, power brick and I had to get two uh, phone charger deals so one cord the main cord goes to the power and the uh, the other two go to the board and the video card but that's it all nice and tight in here Just screw it in nice clean look I had to drill, cut a little hole for the power cord. It's like a computer cord. But this is what I did before I did the At Games Legend Pinball. And that's it. Appreciate you watching. There's a lot of video out there on how to do stuff like this. And a lot of it I had to figure out myself. Like I said, I don't read in uh, Chinese or anything but I was able to figure out all the wiring and stuff I think I might put lighted buttons in here because I have a power I have power 12 volt power but that's it I think it's 5 volts too thanks for watching